What's up YouTube, it's dman 10 here, and today I'll be showing you the 4.2.1 jailbreak on all iOS to 4 devices. Um, I know this jailbreak was requested um, many times by a bunch of my followers, um, but I just wanted to wait for the right time in its last stages of beta um, until it's fully developed um, in a final finished program. Um, just for to let the Apple, not the Apple developers, the jailbreak developers, um, totally get all the bugs out and everything, so it's a clean, safe jailbreak for you guys, okay? So, um, you're going to need three things for this jailbreak. You're going to need the 4.2.1 firmware, that which you can get from Felix Bruns or Apple um, iTunes itself, and you're going to need um, the 4.1 uh, beta 3 firmware um, for the iOS 4 devices you're gonna need the beta 3 firmware which I will have a download link in the, in the description for you okay and you're also gonna need red snow 0 0.9.7 beta 3 alright so you're just gonna open up your red snow alright and make sure your device is plugged in via USB okay this is, I have the iPod touch 4 here today um, I'll show you general about show you that I am 4.2.1 and I have an MC model iPod touch 4 okay um, this is very simple but there are some catches to this jailbreak which I'm going to tell you now before you start um, this does disable Bluetooth um, a lot of people that use Apple iPhones and Apple iPod touches don't really um, use you, uh, Bluetooth as much as some p other people do. Um, I personally don't use Bluetooth at all because Apple gives you headphones or you can get a headphones on a other carrier that have microphones with them so really I don't really like going wireless on that thing and honestly I've used Bluetooth before and it doesn't really work well at all um, with the Apple devices I found. Um, and so if you guys are um, or a need for Bluetooth, don't do the jailbreak. Um, second thing I wanted to let you guys know is this is not an unlock, okay? Not an unlock. I'll repeat it again. Not an unlock. So don't ask in the comments. I'm just going to get frustrated since you jailbroken and then you're going to blame it on me. It's not an unlock, okay, guys? So if you're not on a legit SIM card from AT&T, do not jailbreak with this, okay? Because I'm not going to get yelled and screamed that, that they need to downgrade. And then they can't because they didn't save their SHSH blobs. Which I will have a video for you after this video. Okay? So, just want to make that sure and clear. Okay? So, we're going to browse for a firmware. We're going to grab the 4.2.1 legit firmware. Okay? Not the beta 3. The beta 3 is 4.2. That's it. That's all it says. You get the 4.2.1. And you're going to open that. Sorry if I seem like I'm yelling, but I'm trying to get everything clear so everyone knows. I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna patch the kernel. Okay. Now you're gonna want to install Cydia and enable battery percentage. I like it. Um, you don't have to, but you want to do that if um you want some cool stuff. Okay. Now, th before we do this, this will t make your device tethered. I'm going to show you how to untether the tethered jailbreak, okay? So you're going to hit next. Okay. Now, at this point, you're going to turn your iPod off. So you're going to hold down the power button and then slide off the power. Okay. Now, once we're powered off, we're going to have to put your device into DFU mode. If you don't know what DFU mode is, and, um, it's basically restore mode. This lets Red Snow go into the iPod and put its own firmware on there, okay? So what we're going to do is hold down the home and power button together for 10 seconds. Then we release the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. So just count down with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. Keep holding the home button. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're in DFU mode, 
And if you're on Windows and you're doing this tethered jailbreak, you will hear some sounds on your computer. But the untethered part of this jailbreak is only on Mac, okay? So you're going to hit next. Now, Red Snow is going to identify that you're in DFU mode. And you'll just see a bunch of stuff pop up on your iPod, a bunch of writing. Your screen will turn white for a second. That's okay, it's perfectly normal. It's going to download the jailbreaking data. Okay, now you're going to see this verbose boot. This is actually Red Snow going into your iPod, iPod into the terminal files, and um, pretty much inserting its own firmware. It's actually really, really cool. Um, now again, this isn't my um, iPod, but this is my friend's iPod. So um, I hope I will get like an uh, a 4G in the future. Um, but this Retina display is amazing. As soon as I turn it on, it it, oh, it looked beautiful. Like I was so upset that I had the 2G. But at the same time, I still love my 2G. I mean, this thing's great. Look at it. Look at the, look at the difference. I don't know if you can tell on my webcam, but still. Dude, like, it's so sick. And um, even though I love my 2G because you can jailbreak pretty much right away as soon as they put out the um, they put out the jailbreak because everything's untethered. Everything is so much easier to make jailbreaks for than the iPod Touch 4, the iPhone 4, and the iPad, which is new, and Apple's trying to fix it. But um, in my next video, I will show you um, how to back up SHSH files to allow you to downgrade to different firmwares um, because Apple really doesn't want you to do that because uh, they want you to be up to the current firmware. They want you to purchase stuff from them whole bunch of junk um, that you don't want to do because Apple is a closed source company unlike Android um, even though I support Apple 100 percent some of their stuff is just not right at all okay so you're going to slide to unlock now you're going to notice this white icon called Cydia now you might have a brown icon right away but I don't um, so a lot of you will just get the white icon right away especially on the newer devices now, see if you try to click the program, it won't open, okay? This is perfectly normal. I'm going to show you how to fix this. So, you're going to finish Red Snow. You're going to go back into your application folder or your program folder, and you're going to open Red Snow again. Now, you're going to browse for that same firmware you did before. Browse for the 4.2.1. Don't get mixed up. Okay? Successfully identified. Hit next. This is going to allow you to um, actually use the tethered jailbreak to reboot the device and will allow you to access Cydia. Okay, so you're going to uncheck both of these and you're just going to check just boot tethered right now. Okay, you're going to hit next and now it's going to tell you to shut off your iPod again. So we're basically just shutting off our iPod again. And then the fun part again, okay guys? DFU mode. So just count down with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now we're in DFU mode again. You gotta hit next. Okay. And this is actually going in again, and this is going to boot up your tethered device now. You have the widescreen. Now you're just going to get a pineapple. No verb for boost boot this time. Okay? This is a very quick process. This is just basically um, accessing your tethered jailbreak, and now you're, you're, um, every time you turn off your iPod, you're going to have to run this Just Boot Tether Now program to turn on your iPod. So just try, um... Just try not to shut off your iPod. Usually, iPod users really always keep their iPod charged. Um, but yeah, if you're just at home and turn it off on accident or you charged it, and uh, maybe you forgot to charge it and it dies, just run this program again. I'll show you one more time just in case. So, if, say, your iPod shuts off, loses battery, whatever, 
Just browse for your firmware. Always have your firmware on your computer somewhere safe. Just hit next. And only select just boot tethered now. Okay. So you guys will always be jailbroken. You'll just have to um, just boot tethered now and you're all good to go. Okay. So now we can open up Cydia. Cydia is going to open fine. It's going to reorganize. It's going to ask you to select your Wi Fi network. And it's going to reorganize and close automatically. Okay. This is all normal. Cydia has just got to do its thing. And then uh, it'll close again. There you go. So I have to unlock again. Go over to Cydia and just open it again. Now you'll be prompted with this new UI that the Cydia has. This never really was uh, here in the last uh, firmwares. Now it is. There's going to be three different options. User, Hacker, and Developer. Now... Um, the video that I'm going to give you next next time um, is how to downgrade your iPod. Um, downgrading is uh, very important, um, especially since you save your SH, SH blobs, which allow you to downgrade, because Apple doesn't want you to downgrade, and they'll give you errors all the time trying to go to a lower firmware. All right, so we're going to select developer in this choice, okay? Developer is just going to load up. Um, this allows you to access those files, so um, the program that I'm going to use in the next video will allow you to fetch your device files easier. Okay, so on the top, we're just going to hit done, and now CD is just going to load up for you. Okay, and there you go, boom, you have CD. Um, now, if you guys want to install us, um, I will leave the the source in the description for you. What um, Stolas does is allows you to get um, application programs for free. Um, now I don't really support this very much since a lot of things in the Apple Store are overpriced. I I send, tend to sometimes use it. So um, like a ten dollar app that shouldn't be ten dollars, I'll get it in, in Stolas instead of um, the Apple Store. Okay. Now this is gonna prompt you. To complete upgrade, sorry, the screen went a little dark there. Complete upgrade, essential upgrade, or cancel. Okay, now you want to do complete upgrade. That's gonna upgrade everything that's essential for you. Okay, you hit confirm. I know it's ironic. The complete upgrade is gonna upgrade everything essential, but it's gonna completely upgrade everything that it city wants you to upgrade to. Essential is just a quick way out of it, like, don't even care, just get this city running. And it's going to ask you to reboot your device now. Okay. So it's just going to reboot now. So this is a very quick process, um... It used to be a lot easier, so hopefully the, the final version of Red Snow or um, the Green Poison version for Windows that are coming out to untether your iPod or iPhone um, will be coming out in a couple weeks, um, and this will be a lot quicker. So notice that um, I suggest see it rebooted your iPod. Now you're going to have to go back and do that just boot tether now thing again, okay? if you're staying untethered alright so we're just gonna have to put our device into DFU mode real quick you guys are champs at that now since we did it three times already okay so since now you're in G DFU mode hit next boom okay so I'll come back when this is done Okay, guys, so it's finished. Now I'm in Cydia and Cydia, and the Safari is working. Now, um, in some cases, a tethered will, um, if you shut off your iPod and turn it back on, music and everything will work, um, except for Safari and Cydia will crash um, until you, um, do what I just said, um, to run the, just run tethered jailbreak now in Red Snow. 
So just make sure your iPod doesn't die, the main key, okay? If you're going to stay on a tethered jailbreak. Now I'm going to show you how to untether. Alright? So now you're going to close out Red Snow and reopen it again. I know it's kind of tedious, but um, listen, it's worth it, okay? You're going to select the original firmware, the 4.2.1. Hit next. Next. Okay, now this time, Jailbreak Monty is all you're selecting. And you're going to select the Beta 3 firmware, okay? You're going to open that and just uncheck everything else, okay? Now this is going to untether your Jailbreak, okay? And just, you're just going to hit Next. It's going to do its thing. I already did this, so I'm not going to just screw around with everything else. But all you have to do is check Jailbreak Monty, and it in parentheses it says Untethered and hit next it'll untether your device you freely to switch on and off whenever you please alright so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you guys do follow the steps um, completely this is why this is a long video very descriptive hopefully it helped you out give me a thumbs up um, and uh, please subscribe for f future videos I have a darn great video coming up after this alright so thanks for watching guys and have a nice day